Hey, Bruce from Marlon Recreational Products here, Caravan's largest trader and parts distributor. We wanted to take a few minutes just to explain how to figure out what trailer you may need, excuse me, what fender you may need uh, for your trailer. We've done a couple of things on our parts website. We've uh, included a PDF that you can take a look at that gives a lot of the information that I'm about to talk, to, talk about. But sometimes it's easier just to watch a quick video. First thing that you want to do is take a look at the trailer and figure out if you want the left or the right side fender. The best way to figure that out is to stand behind your trailer and it's pretty obvious. Once you're behind, left hand side is your left hand, right hand side is your right hand. Um, you have single axle and you have tandem axle fenders and we'll go through that in a minute. The other thing that you want to look at is the color of your fender. You have a black fender, you have a gray fender, you can have what we call an antique white or an off-white fender and a white fender. Um, these colors can be in all different sizes of fenders as well. Some of them mentioned about the antique white fender, fender. That's a special order fender. It's not a high volume. It was used a few years ago uh, for one of the OEM uh, manufacturers, U.S. Marine. Um, and uh, it's, it's since been phased out, but we do have them. Quite often people won't special order them and they'll just order the straight white fenders instead of the antique white. The, uh, now to measure your fenders, there's basically uh, four different lengths. The 20, 20 and a quarter fender, 37, 40 and 43 inch fender. All those fenders can be cut for the tandem fenders as well. Now it's very, very important uh, because like I say, during the manufacturing of the trailers, Sometimes an OEM may come and say, hey Caravan, we don't want to offer a 13 inch tire any longer on this trailer, we want a 14 inch tire. And they may do that halfway through the year. So if you're looking on the Caravan portal, sometimes the fender lengths aren't correct. So it's best to confirm. The other thing is a distributor like ourselves or a dealer may change them for whatever reason. So measuring your fender, you always measure from one end of the fender all the way to the other end of the fender. That's how you get your length of your fender. When you have a tandem fender, like these trailer, this particular trailer on the bottom over here, uh, you, you also measure from one end to the other. But keep a note, we've used one fender and we've cut it off. So you see if you remove this plate, we have two fenders here. So it's very important that you measure from this end of the fender all the way to this end of the fender. The other important thing to understand is the trailer lights uh, or the fender lights. On any trailers that are um, uh, under 80 inches, you may not require a light on the fender. So take a look at that. Uh, we'll go back to this utility trailer in a minute and we'll show you that there's, there's no lights on that fender. On other fenders, they're usually found in the front. So when you're looking at your tandem axle trailer, you gotta make sure that you're talking about left hand front or right hand front or left hand rear or right hand rear because the rears do not have a light. So it's very important that we get that information so we ensure that you either don't have a light or you have a light in the front. That's the next uh, important thing to, to understand. Like I mentioned, you may not have a light required because it's, it's under 80 inches. But if you do, there's a couple of different lights that you may have. One is the oblong light, incandescent oblong light that we've used for years. The other one is a bullet LED light that we've started using, I'll say in the last five years. Um, and that depends, that will determine what hole is cut in your fender, either a bullet light or an oblong hole is cut. The other thing to note is when you're ordering the fenders, if you need the grommet to hold the light, there's this one for the oblong, the round one for a bullet. And the last thing that I'll mention is on the fenders, the old school or the older fenders, they screwed up from the bottom. We no longer do that. We find better way of holding them in is through a bolt that goes through and through the fender hanger. And uh, that's why you'll find all the new fenders come with these holes cut in them. So don't worry if you have an older fender, uh, these holes are cut in the same spot that your screws came up from before. So now you'll make sure you order this bolt kit. They just drop in and bolt right into your uh, fender bracket.
hopefully that's uh, helped you out a lot. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email us through our website and uh, please give us your VIN number and uh, we'll do what we can to, to get you the right parts. Thank you very much.